Hello, I'm Jessica Highland's Confidence Coach, a life coach helping you to create the life that you want. If you're not living the life of your dreams, why is that? A little story about myself. Years ago, I was studying for my accountancy exams. I didn't go to college, but studied at home alone alongside running my business, so it was quite full on. I used to study for three hours a day, Monday to Friday, and then four hours a day at the weekend. I didn't take a single day off in the four years of working towards the final exams. If I went on holiday, I took all my books with me. Physically carried massive books with me because it was before the days of electronic books. <laughs> and don't feel sorry for me, I loved it. I loved learning anything, so it was as much a hobby as a need in a way. So after four years of such hard work, I took my finals, got the results and I passed. Excellent, yippee! <sighs> the excitement was very brief. What had happened was that I was so focused on the goal of qualifying as an accountant that I hadn't thought any further than that. I didn't have a plan as to what I was going to do. So whilst I would achieved a dream, it was a bit like stepping off a cliff. I wonder where you are in your life. Did you have a great ambition to get somewhere? And having reached it, you're finding it a um, bit of a, an anticlimax. Maybe for you it was the same as me, um, where you sort of ran out of plan. You had a plan, a great one, which was so focused on the result that you hadn't thought any further. Running out of plan can be very disappointing. It may make you question the whole goal that you worked towards and achieved. If that's happened to you, think again. It may just be that you didn't link it or incorporate it into the wider plan of your life. On the other hand, it may well have been the wrong plan for you. Having achieved it, you're not finding it as, as fulfilling as you imagined. And these goals and plans can be anything in your life, a career that you've worked hard at, a business that you've created and are successfully running, getting married and starting a family, striving for that massive house and dream car that's been a vision you've had since you were younger. We create goals and plans for lots of different reasons. And the best plans and goals are those that we've really thought through on sort of lots of different levels. Often we'll only think of certain aspects of the plan, not necessarily the consequences. For example, let's say you know that a particular career will make you a lot of money. It'll bring you a lot of prestige and it, it might help you find a life partner of good standing, let's say. Seems a no-brainer. Away you go and work your way up in a firm to reach the pinnacle of your success. Something you may not have considered is that once you progressed a bit in this career, you'd be travelling around the world working. Exciting the first couple of trips, but you're a homebody. You don't even like going on holiday, let alone having to travel around the world for work. You didn't consider that this particular profession would mean working extremely long and often unsociable hours. You don't thrive on a go-go lifestyle. You need your relaxation and a good eight hours sleep a night. Entertaining clients. Your ideal social life is made up of lots of one-to-one -one nights out of deep and meaningful chats. You wouldn't throw a dinner party for your friends, let alone for strangers that you're trying to impress. Ah, oh, what hard work that is for you. So you may have thought about certain things that this career would bring you, but by the time you realise that the whole package doesn't really suit you, you'd committed so much time, energy and money at it, in it, at it <laughs> that you couldn't see yourself moving on. And this same principle applies to work, social lives, romantic lives, everything. We aren't necessarily tied forever to decisions that we've made in the past. So if you're questioning how happy your situation is making you, let's have a chat about it. We can see what you really want and what you might need to change to get that. And it won't necessarily mean jacking everything in and starting again. Very often by changing relatively small things around us, we can change our whole experience of it. So let's have a chat. Give me a call or drop me an email, the details are below. And let's turn your life around to being one that you enjoy in every respect. So I look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye for now.